Hi, my name is Naomi Joy. Today's rebounder workout is a lower body strength and cardio circuit burner. I'll be lifting heavier today and I'll list what weights I'm using down below. We have three circuits of six exercises. Within each circuit, we have three cardio moves and three strength. We'll run through each circuit two times back to back, working for 45 seconds followed by 15 seconds of rest. You can always take more rest time if you need it. We're gonna finish on fire, lighting your booty and thighs up with Pilates inspired movement. To support my work, please give this video a thumbs up. Share, comment, and most importantly, please subscribe. Let's warm up. Shoulders are back and down, core is pulled in. We're gonna open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together as the elbows pull back. Remember to breathe for this whole class. Now we're twisting side to side and as we twist one direction, we're gonna lift the opposite heel up, engage through your glutes and draw your belly button to spine. We're folding forward, feet are in parallel. As you bow down, bend the knees enough that your belly's on your thighs. Inhale to lift up and exhale to bow. Allow your arms to be relaxed as they flow forward and back. Squat with a lateral stretch side to side. In this squat, your hip knees and toes are turned out slightly. Make sure that they're tracking in one straight line. As you sit down, your weight is in your heels, chest is up, spine is straight. As you stand, squeeze your glutes. Let's come to balance for a single leg deadlift, which will be one of our moves today. It's easier to stand in the center of the trampoline. We'll do this about four or five times on one side. In the standing foot, you're rooting through the four corners of the foot with a little bit more weight in the heel. Your knee stays bent, and each time you stand up, you're squeezing through the standing booty. Chest and hips are square to the ground as you lower. Keep hugging your core muscles in and draw your shoulders back. Activate through your back foot. It's either flexed or pointed. Let's switch sides. Move slowly and mindfully. To square the pelvis, focus on internally rotating the back thigh bone, which means you're gonna be lifting your inner thigh up towards the sky. Squeeze the quad on the back leg to straighten it completely. Great, let's start to bounce now. We're pushing down through the heels, the knees are bent. When we're bouncing, the workout and the power comes from pushing down into the trampoline. We have a slight hinge at the hips. As we pull the arms back, we're squeezing the shoulder blades together. Now we're gonna practice lifting one knee up, alternating with the bounce in between sides. The arms are strong, and as you press the hands down, you're breathing out, drawing the belly button to spine. Focus on engaging the lats underneath your armpits. To get the most caloric burn in these moves, you wanna really activate through your upper body as well as push down into the trampoline. Now this is a double bounce twist. Notice that I have a hinge in my hips, core is pulled in, chest is lifted, and I'm not bouncing very high at all. Here's our first move. Right leg is the standing leg and left leg is kicking to the side. Make sure your standing knee is bent with your weight in the heel. Keep your core tight to avoid arching your back. Elbows are high and the arms are moving in the opposite direction as the side kicking leg. You can modify this kick by simply tapping your toe to the side of the trampoline. Left leg is the standing leg and right leg is kicking to the side. Every time you kick out, focus on squeezing the side of your glute. Push down into the trampoline and remember that this workout comes from pushing down, not bouncing up.
jump. Hip, knees, and toes are externally rotated. As you land at the squat, push your weight into your heels. Press your knees open and lift your chest. As you jack up, cross your inner thighs together, alternating the front leg. Hands lift to a strong prayer above head. If you're unstable, modify with a jumping jack instead of the inner thigh crisscross. Alternating lateral lunge with two pulses. Hips are externally rotated with your hip knee and center foot cracking in the same line. Push your hips back with your weight in the heel. Chest is up, shoulders are back, spine is straight. Engage your quads on the straight leg to stabilize your knee. Remember to breathe. Let's strengthen our posterior chain with a deadlift. Feet are hip width and parallel. Imagine that you have a thick glute band around your shins and you're continuously pressing out. As you hinge, bend your knees, push your hips back with your weight in your heels. Spine is straight and your shoulder blades are hugged together. Squeeze your glutes to stand and push your feet into the ground. Side to side squat. Hips are externally rotated. As you stand in center, imagine you're a ballerina. Squeeze your heels and inner thighs together and engage your booty. As you step to the side, your weight is even in both legs. Chest is lifted and your shoulders are back and down.
Let's work our core and our cardio. These moves were requested by one of my lovely subscribers. You know who you are. Now your core is tight and your hands are squeezed tightly together in this prayer shape. Don't let go. Twist from your belly and tap your prayer hands to the outside of your knee. Remember to exhale to twist and keep pushing down through that standing leg. and one ankle tap. Your left leg is the standing leg and your right knee is lifting. Push down with your standing foot. Bend your knee with your weight in your heel. As you tap your inner ankle, flex your foot to stabilize the knee. If flexibility is challenging for you, just repeat the twist two times. Switching sides. Remember that this is a core exercise, so you want to draw your belly button to spine. I like to exhale to twist to help deepen the connection into the core. Notice that I'm not bouncing up, but I'm pushing down and that the opposite arm is strong and fairly straight. Parallel squat into an alternating back lunge. As you squat, push your hips back with your weight in your heel, chest is up. As you lunge, keep your hips square by tucking your tailbone under and keeping your lower abs tight.
Make sure your front knee is stacked over your ankle with your hip knee and center foot in a straight parallel line. Alternating curtsy lunge. Step diagonally behind you, hinging at the hips with your weight in your heels. Stack your knee over your ankle and keep your chest proud. As you stand, focus on squeezing your glutes, shoulders back and down. narrow chair. This time we're squeezing our lateral glutes as we lift our legs to the side. Notice that I'm not kicking forward, but I imagine that I'm between two planes of glass front and back. As you lift your leg up, focus on squeezing your core and your glutes to avoid arching your lower back.
We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be When there's a problem, you become like a wall And every time I trip, it's a free fall Why don't you have Scissoring our legs forward and back, pushing down into the trampoline. Arms are straight and strong. Imagine you're pulling resistant bands down. Engage your lats and squeeze your shoulder blades together as the arms pull back. sneaky core exercise. Hands are stacked and arms are flexed. Breathe out as you press your hands to knee and tense your core. Remember the more effort and awareness you put into your workout, the better the results. toes are rotated out at about 45 degrees. As you land, chest is up, weight is back in heels, and knees are pressing out. Arms are lifting to a strong high V with front ribs gathering in core tight. You can always modify this squat with a basic bounce or just skip the jump altogether. the single leg deadlift. Left leg is the standing leg and right leg is straight and strong kicking behind us. Hold the weight close to the standing leg. As you hinge from the hips, keep your spine straight, abs are strong and your shoulder blades are hugged together. Bend into the standing knee and push your weight back into your heel with your eyes forward but down. As you stand, squeeze your standing glute 
and look forward to the wall in front of you. Right leg is the standing leg and left leg is straight and strong kicking behind. To help square your hips to the ground, focus on internally rotating your back thigh, lifting your inner thigh up towards the sky. Back foot is strong, either flexed or pointed. are tracking in this turnout. Keep in mind that I'm quite flexible in my hips, so you may need to turn your hips more inward to find your joint alignment. As you lower down, squeeze through your side glutes and press your knees out. As you stand, push your feet into the ground and squeeze your inner thighs together. Tuck your tailbone and pull your lower abdominals in to avoid arching your lower back.
We have five sets of burning hamstring bridge variations, working for 50 seconds with 10 seconds of rest. Legs are squeezed together, heels are pushing down into the trampoline. As you lift your hips, tuck your tailbone under and squeeze your glutes. Shoulder blades are on the ground, chin is in, avoid twisting your neck to the side. As you lift your hips, draw your belly button to spine and exhale. If you're feeling these bridges in your lower back, feel free to modify with your feet on the ground. Make sure you hold at the top for that glute engagement. Make each rep count. on this one side. Right leg is lifted and left heel is pushing down. Left glute is engaged. Focus on keeping your tailbone tucked under, your hips level and square. side. Right foot is flexed as we lower the foot down, we point the toe to lift. Shoulders are away from ears, core is tight and hips are level. and repeating those two moves. Remember to push down through the standing heel, tuck the tailbone under, continue to breathe. You got this.
Now we're sculpting the side booty and obliques. This is a tough one, but we're only going to do it one time on each side. Stack your elbow under shoulder and bend your bottom knee to 90 degrees. Make sure your hip, knee, and shoulders are in one straight line. We have 30 seconds of lifting up and down, thigh bone in parallel, and we have 30 seconds of circling back, keeping the leg high. You got this. Leg lifted, your core tight, press your hips forward and avoid arching your lower back. almost done this workout. Now we're going to lift up for 30 seconds. Foot is flexed, core is tight, glutes are engaged, and then we have 30 seconds of circles. Don't give up on me. We are so close to the end. I am feeling it too. This is a really challenging exercise, but we're going to get through it together. Let's go. last exercise and if you've made it this far I am giving you a virtual high five well done <laughs> so we're laying down on our side we're working the inner thighs we have 90 seconds on this one side we're gonna be lifting up the inner thigh up down for 30 seconds then we pulse for 30 seconds and then we circle back for 30 seconds this rebounder is pretty small so notice that I have to bring my arm off of the trampoline and I'm reaching it away from my body to avoid crunching that shoulder up to the ear. So find a, a nice position for that arm where you're not tensing your shoulders or maybe lay on the ground and do this exercise laying on the side. Keep your belly nice and strong and squeeze through that inner thigh as you lift up. All right, now we're pulsing. Keep that leg high, squeeze that inner thigh, and keep hugging your belly button to spine. Finishing this leg off with little circles, circling up and back. Keep that leg as high as you can. You're so close to being done. Come on. last 90 seconds of our workout so you're switching sides you know the drill we've got 30 seconds going up and down flexing the foot 30 seconds of pulses and 30 seconds of circles to finish off this killer workout
pulsing up and down. Lift through the inner thigh, flex the foot, remember to breathe. last 30 seconds finishing strong with tiny little high circles burning out that inner thigh Good work. You deserve a nice long deep stretch for your lower body, so please stick around. Standing tall, we're going to step back with our left leg coming into a lunge, placing the knee onto the trampoline. Tuck the tailbone under, square your pelvis, and breathe. Lift your left arm up alongside ear and lean to the right, stretching through the side body. Release, and we're gonna reach back for our ankle, flexing the foot. If this is not accessible, you can just hold the lunge. Continue to tuck your tailbone under and square your hips forward. release, and we'll switch sides. Engage through the lower abs, square the hips, lift your chest up. Reach your right arm up and lean to the left. Lots of energy in your fingers. Breathe into your side body. Reaching back for your ankle, flex your foot. Kick away from your hip. release we'll step forward and now we're going to make our way down for a hamstring stretch so hugging one knee to chest then straightening your leg flexing your foot spread your toes in your shoes bottom leg is heavy breathe into your back So I want you to flex your foot, stretch out your calf, toes to face. Next, we're externally rotating the hip open and leaning the leg to the side. Stay grounded through the hips, press down through the opposite thigh. You're lifting your foot up towards your ear and you're keeping your pelvis stable. Remember to breathe. Come back to center, figure four stretch on this side, flex your foot, and I'm twisting my hips in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. 
release, and let's repeat this on side two. Hamstring stretch, flex the foot. Bottom leg is heavy. I recorded this video in my courtyard because the lovely flowers were blooming. Now we're gonna rotate the hip open externally. Breathe. Imagine that you're breathing in some sweet flowers. And now we'll take the figure four stretch, twisting the hips the opposite way. Big deep breaths. Letting go of tension. Oh, there's a little animal friend. And he's gone. <laughs> If only he would have stuck around. Release. We'll hug both knees into chest. Give yourself a big hug for completing this workout. You're amazing. And now let's uh, make our way to a child's pose and drop your booty down. You're going to reach your hands over to the right. Get heavy through the left hip. Breathe. Thank you so much for joining me today. You did so well. I'm so proud of you. We'll switch sides. Uh, if you enjoyed this workout, please give it a thumbs up. Share with whoever may enjoy. And please subscribe to my channel to support me. I will see you soon.